All right then, uh, Joel here, uh, ready to do day two of Advent of Code. Uh, I realized while watching the last video that I did not zoom in in my uh, text editor, so you will have to squint to read that, and I apologize for that, but in the interest of you know approaching each problem fresh, I can't really re-record it, so you'll just have to zoom in a lot, and this one I'll make sure to zoom in uh, appropriately. So back into the Advent of Code, it's time for uh, the second problem. So it's a corruption checksum. As you walk through the door, a glowing humanoid shape yells, you there, your state appears to be idle. Help us repair the corruption in the spreadsheet. If we take another millisecond, we'll have to display an hourglass cursor. The spreadsheet consists of rows of apparently random numbers. To make sure the recovery process is on the right track, you need to calculate the spreadsheet's checksum. For each row, determine the difference between the largest value and the smallest value. The checksum is the sum of all these differences. For instance, given the following spreadsheet, um, uh, first row, uh, the largest is 9, smallest is 1, so that's 8, largest 7, smallest 3, that's 4, third row, uh, 2 and 8 is 6, so you sum those up. So that should not be too uh, complicated. Let's look at this input, and it is a spreadsheet where these look like tabs, um, so hopefully that works. So let's do day 02 checksum.py. Okay, and Again, let's add a link to this problem as our doc string. It's not a very good doc string, but it's better than no doc string. Uh, so def checksum. Uh, actually, let's make a helper function first. Uh, spreadsheet to lists. Um, and let's make a spreadsheet, which is a string, and it will return a list of list of strings. And so we'll do from typing import list. I'm, you'll see that I'm not actually type checking these, but it still helps me uh, code better if I use the type hints anyway. Um, so, you know, uh, rows equals spreadsheet dot split on new lines. Um, and then rows, and you know, let's make this a list of list of ints actually, that'll, that'll be much better. Um, so rows is going to be, um, int of cell for cell in row dot split for row in rows. So we'll just do like a nested list comprehension for each row in the rows. Um, we will split that row into cells and convert each cell into the ints and return rows. Okay. So now when we want to check some, uh, some spreadsheet, which is a string, we'll just say that the rows equals uh, spreadsheet to list. That's not a great uh, name for it. Um, you know what? I'm going to rename it and just call it um, two rows, which is also not a great name for it, but it's a better name for it. Rows equals two rows spreadsheets. And then the checksum is just, uh, you know, for each row, uh, find the max minus min and add those up. up. So we want to return the sum of max row minus min row for row in rows. And so this is the sort of thing again where I'm guessing that possibly like breaking it down into these two pieces like this is going to help me when they throw a part two at me because the part two is going to have some twist and maybe this two rows will prevent me from having to rewrite a bunch of logic. But uh, if I remember correctly from last year, uh, they will have outthought me. And uh, so let's again write one of our stupid assert unit tests. Um, test spreadsheet is going to be this and assert that checksum of test spreadsheet equals uh, 8 plus 4 plus 6 is 18. So now let's go and um, you can see me doing the get stuff from day one. Uh, so Python, day 02 checksum.py, that passes, which means it probably works. So uh, you know, first input is going to be, let's copy this, and I should probably write more test cases, but I'm not going to unless uh, unless this doesn't work for some reason. 
in which case I will. If name is main print checksum first inputs. And you know, uh, you might prefer to pass in your inputs at the command line. That seems like a lot of work to me, so I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, so let's uh, run this again, and it's saying 48357. Does that pass my sanity check? You know, here it looks like the right answer for this line is like about 5,000. You know, so you know, each row contributes on the order of 1,000, and you know, there's on the order of 10 rows, so getting 48,000 seems pretty uh, reasonable. So let's put this in, and that is the right answer. So we are one gold star closer to debugging the printer. Um, still not sure why I care about this printer, but that's okay. Turn to day two. Um, part two. Great work. Looks like on the right track. Here's a star. However, the program seems a little bit worried. We're too worried. Looks like all these are wanted some information about the evenly divisible values. Unfortunately, none of us are equipped for that kind of calculation. Most of us specify in bitwise operations. It sounds like the goal is to find the only two numbers in each row where one evenly divides the other. That is, where the result of the division operation is a whole number. We'd like you to find those numbers on each line, divide them, and add up each line's result. For example, given the following spreadsheet, in this first row, the only two numbers that you evenly divide are 8 and 2. In the second row, the two numbers are 9 and 3. The result is 3. In the third row, the result is 2. Some... Okay. So, um, let's call this uh, checksum divisible, uh, which is some spreadsheet. And again, it's going to return an int. And I forgot to type, annotate that one, so let's add that here. Um, and you know, let's again, let's, let's do, uh, let's just say, row dividend, um, and a row is a list of ints, and that will return an int. Um, and so let's say uh, there are exactly two values in the row for which one evenly divides the other, uh, return their quotient. Okay, so, you know, the simplest way to do this is just to um, loop over all the elements in the list and you know for uh, for i value in row uh, for other value in uh, and so we want to start you know at i plus one uh, mm. Do I want to do that? Uh, sure, I'll just do it that way. So basically, you know, if I'm looking at the first element, I'll look at all elements after the first element. When I'm looking at this eighth element, I'll look at all elements after the eighth element. Um, and, and so uh, then I'll have to check both directions, but that's probably okay. So if, you know, value mod other value equals zero, um, return value value divided by other value, so if value is evenly divisible by other value, uh, otherwise if other value mod value equals zero, uh, return other value divided by value. You know, and in an ideal world, we would probably check to see that um, that there really are only two for which this holds. But they told us that that would be the case. Um, and if we get all the way down here, or uh, raise value error, um, you know, no uh, pair found. So we can add a, a, a cert. Uh, the nice thing about breaking it up this way is that we can, you know, write tests uh, for much simpler. So row dividend of 5928 is, is 4. And we can assert that uh, row dividend of 9473 473 is 3. And we can assert that row dividend of, and let's see what their input is, you know, 3865 is 
two. So three, eight, six, five is two. And uh, so I haven't written this function, so I'm just gonna write pass here so that the code doesn't crash when I run it and test my asserts. Um, but I need a better way to get at this thing. Uh, for I value in row, int object is not iterable because I meant to do uh, enumerate row. So that's good. And let me slide this over a little bit. Okay, so those asserts passed, uh, which means that row dividend is probably doing the right thing, or at least we can have a little bit of confidence. So if we want to do checksum divisible, um, rows equals two rows of spreadsheet, uh, and we just want to return sum of row dividend row for row in rows. And uh, so 5928, is that the same test one we had uh, before? I don't know. Let me move this a little bit over. No, it's not. Okay, so uh, let's say test two equals that. And so we'll assert that checksum divisible of test two equals uh, four plus three plus two is nine. That's what they're telling us. So let's uh, do that. And our assertion still passes. And now what they're saying, it hasn't changed. You can still get your puzzle input. So that means use the same input. So let's print the checksum uh, uh, divisible of, again, the first input, which is the same as the second input. And now it's saying it's 351. So let's plug in 351. And that's the right answer. We're one gold star closer to debugging the printer. Fantastic. So now we have uh, four stars. We've done this uh, for two days. Let's do get status, get add day2checksum.py, and get commit.m uh, solve day two. And that is it. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, check me out on Twitter at Joel Groose and uh, at Joel Groose. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll do day three uh, sometime soon. And uh, I just got to figure out how to stop this recording now.